Housing and homelessness, two major issues here in San Diego that really concern a lot of us. Today marks a vote on a plan looking to address both of these concerns. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal, live downtown where local leaders addressed this before today's special city council meeting. What was done, Kelly? Well, that's right. That special meeting is scheduled to begin at noon today, but we did hear uh, from several council members this morning uh, who support declaring housing a human right, just like food and water. Today's action in declaring housing a human right is an opportunity for San Diego to boldly position itself uh, and to, be, to ask for accountability from our residents to ensure that everyone has access to this basic, fundamental human right and human need. And that was Council President Shanila Rivera, who is spearheading this effort. Now, he's someone who's been very open about the fact he was homeless years ago, living out of his car. Uh, so this is an issue he takes very personally. Now, according to the San Diego Regional Task Force on Homelessness, in the past year, more than 15,000 people in San Diego became homeless for the first time. So council members say passing this declaration means putting stronger renter protections in place, which is another part of this and something they'll be looking at today as well. Uh, they say it means they need to look at using city-owned land for affordable housing. They say this isn't just about building more housing. It's also about putting laws on the books to keep people from being kicked out of their homes. In a city this beautiful, that has this much wealth, uh, recognize that 15,000 people are falling into homelessness in a year and say that we're doing a good job and all that we can do when it comes to housing. And so uh, this, uh, there will be a public comment portion at today's meeting. Now this declaration needs five votes to pass. Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.